Hello, my friends. It's me again, your favorite denture wearer. Sure hope everybody's doing okay today. Thought I'd throw up a video real quick. Well, I thought I'd make a video real quick. I still have to get it on the computer and edit it in order to throw it up. But I thought I could at least make a video real quick. Been out all day doing chip repairs. Had some appointments I had to get to. So I am pretty close to downtown Salt Lake. I don't think you can see all the high-rise buildings down there at this point. But I'm close. So, and I'll be right down in the mix of it here pretty soon with this next repair I have. I have <laughs> quite a bit of wait time to get to the next repair because uh, my next two customers are not responding back to me even though they knew I was going to be in their area this time of day. And that's the nature of the beast. So, what happens is I hand out a ton of business cards at businesses, obviously. Walk around and hand out business cards at businesses. And then, when they can't have it done right there on the spot, they call me later and go, hey, can you come to my house and do it? And I go, sure, and then I schedule an appointment for them, and then when I go to their house, or when I call them and say, hey, I'm, you know, I'll be in your area at such and such time tomorrow, they say, okay, that's great. And then when I'm in the area, and I text them, and I say, hey, I'm in the area, I could be there in like 10 minutes, I don't hear back from them. So I wait 10 minutes and I text him back and say, hey, uh, I can't text while I'm riding my motorcycle, so I was in your area, thought I could swing by, I you know, might be a little early getting to your appointment, or I'm on my way to your appointment because, you know, I'm on my way, and I can be there at the appointed time, and then I don't hear back from him. <laughs> And then I say, I need to know if I can come and do the windshield chip for you because I can't text while riding. So I need to know. So I've been sitting on in parking lots for like the last half an hour trying to get a hold of one customer. And I finally just text back and said, I'm sorry I missed you today. If you want to reschedule, that's fine. Just shoot me a message. Then I text another customer and said, I can be 15 or 20 minutes early if that works for you. And I sat there for 10 minutes. I said, well, now I can be 10 minutes early if that works for you. And I sat there for another 10 minutes and I said, okay, I am not coming to your, I'm not coming to the scheduled time because you're not responding to me at all. And I sat there for another 10 minutes and I finally said, okay, since you're not responding to me, I'm going to assume something came up and you're unable to keep your appointment with me today, so please text me and let me know another day that works for you. Then I text my third customer and said, I can be there in 20 minutes. And they said, text me back and said, we agreed four o'clock. I said, yes, but I would like to get it done early if I can, because I have other appointments as well. And they said, I won't be home till 345. And I said, okay, I'll see you at four o'clock. So now I have an hour and a half, an hour and 40 minutes to spend doing nothing. <laughs> And that's not true, because as you can see, I'm at a strip mall. So all I have to do is strap on my stuff and walk around for the next hour or so and try to get more windshield chips to do. So it's called managing your time, right? So what I'll do is I'll make a note of the intersection here. I'm on State Street and 4500 South. So I'll make a note of that so I don't come back to this area again. And I'll go ahead and strap on my stuff and I'll 
just walk all the way over to the end over there to them buildings over there and I'll start going in and handing out cards and trying to get windshield chips to repair and I'll do that for the next hour and a half or hour and ten minutes or whatever and if I get more repairs then I'm better off so it's all about time management with me if I don't have something to do for an hour I'm strapping on my gear and walking around to get more business it's all about time management Everybody thinks, oh, we don't have enough time. We don't have enough time. Yes, you do. You just have to manage your time better. Time management, that's what counts. So that's what I'm going to do. And I thought, well, I'm kind of piddling around here. And I was text back and forth with the last customer of the day. Thought I'd jump on here and make a video because time management. So you'll notice most of my videos are of me riding my bike or driving my van or whatever the case may be because instead of just driving for 20 minutes or riding my bike for 20 minutes, I can be making a video during that 20 minutes. Instead of taking 20 minutes out of other things I have to do to make a video. So, for example, instead of going home, which takes about a half an hour from where I'm at, and then spending 15 or 20 minutes making a video, and then going back out wherever I'm at, you know, it might take 20 minutes or half an hour to get to the next location to walk around or whatever, that would waste an hour and a half of my time. So I figured while I'm driving around, I'll make a video while I'm riding around, I'll make a video. See, there's another strip mall over there. I could go over there too. Anyway, um, instead of just wasting time making a video, I can be making a video while I'm on the way to an appointment or something, or while I'm on the way to walk around businesses or whatever the case may be. It's all about time management with me. So, you know, I make the video, but the videos don't get put on the computer until I get home. Once I'm home, I'm not in a rush to do anything. So once I get home, I can just relax and get on my computer, load the videos, edit the videos, get them up on the computer, get them uploaded to YouTube, schedule it to come out, do all that stuff the same day I'm making this video. That's if the video even turns out. You only have one view today, and that's the view of my helmet. So as you can see, my bike is filthy. It got rained on and rained on and rained on. I just did my food video for my Dentures versus Food channel as well. So that's very cool. Anyway, I'm going to get over here and get started. I'm going to get geared up. As you'll see, I carry my stuff with me everywhere I go. There's my pouches. There's my drink. There's my business cards. There's an old, I need to throw that away, an old empty pack of cigarettes that's been in this bike forever. I just never think to clean out the trunk. <laughs> I need to throw that in the trash, get it out of there. So that's it for today, my friends. I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to keep smiling, keep trying, and whatever you do, never give up.